Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I've got a quick video for you for your Google Pixel XL. This time, I've got the Subcase Unicorn Beetle, which by the way happens to be one of my favorite cases, so when I saw this one I knew I had to get it. This is a one-piece case made from a TPU bumper with a polycarbonate back. It comes in multiple colors, and we're gonna look at it now. Ian in here from Udroid Mania, and you're watching my quick review. So let's get to it. You guys already know the drill, so let's start with the tour. Along the bottom of the case, you'll find cutouts for your Type-C USB port, along with one for the speaker grill. Along the left-hand side, you get a sense of just how much protection you have with this case, and I like the fact that the bezel wraps around the display for that added protection. Along the right-hand side, you'll find the power and the volume up and down buttons. Although the buttons do respond quite well when pressed, personally, I did find them a bit more challenging to find, especially since they feel somewhat smooth to the touch. On the back of the case, there's a nice cutout for your camera and sensors, so no issues here. When it comes to the bezels, they're a very nice size, and that's a good thing because as I wait for my screen protector to arrive, I know that I've got lay on the table support. Overall, when it comes to the redesigned Beetle by Subcase, I'm really liking what I see. This case has a nice tight fit and has a minimal clean design. Even being a thin case, in the hand, it definitely gives you something to hang on to. Now that my cases have started to arrive for the Pixel XL, I've got more to come. The link is down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. Okay, so there you have it. I'm just having a bit of fun here. What do you guys think of the Unicorn Beetle by Subcase? At the making of this video, this case was about 15 bucks on Amazon. It feels pretty good in the hand, and it's somewhat protective as you can see. I'm happy to see that Subcase is changing things up a bit by offering us more colors, more options, and I don't think you can go wrong there. Would I recommend this case? Well that depends on if you're looking for something minimal when it comes to design. Just keep in mind what I said about the buttons. If you've enjoyed this video, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. Welcome to the channel. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.